guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be doing a college move out vlog. If you guys don't know, I go to Arizona State and I live in a dorm currently. I move out in two weeks, so this video will be over the span of two weeks. This video is going to be me packing everything up, taking my wallpaper down and all that stuff. Kind of sad, it's like gone by so fast. I genuinely cannot believe that I'm moving out in two weeks. Actually, yeah, two weeks. If you guys wanna see my college move-in vlog, I'll have that link down below. But my first thing that I wanna do is take down this wall. So if you guys don't already know, this wall right here is yellow. So this entire thing is yellow. And I did not think that would look good in the background of my video. So I got this stickable wallpaper from Target. It's like a giant sticker and they're just like in little, do you see the, like the lines? And so I did that because I thought it looked better in my video. I'm like shaking. Why am I shaking? So I'm kind of nervous. I want to take this down as soon as possible. I'm afraid that this wallpaper, when I take it down, will remove some of the paint. And so I don't want to be charged for like paint chips and holes and whatever, whatever those are called. So I am hopefully going to be able to match the paint if it chips. Fingers crossed it doesn't. I'm hoping it really doesn't. So the first thing that I actually wanted to do was take before pictures because for my thumbnail and just like for memory. So I took a few Polaroids and everything and I actually time lapsed it. So I'll show you guys right now the time lapse. <laughs> If you guys were kind of confused why I was moving the bed, I wanted this to be a cute background for my video, so I pushed my beds together because I don't have a roommate currently. But most of the time I was in the storm, I didn't have the two beds pushed together, so I wanted to take pictures of what it looked like without the two beds pushed together. I'm gonna move this over and then take the wallpaper down, but I'm scared of like putting the ladder upright because I'm afraid that it will like hit the wall or something. So I might ask a friend to help me with that. <laughs> sweating so much. It's so hot up there. This wallpaper did a pretty good job. I'll admit, it did not take off a ton of paint. It did take off some though. And <sighs> that means I'm going to have to get a paint match and kind of paint the spots that it didn't. It looks like someone had like command strips and then just like painted over the sticky residue and that wasn't me. So I'm kind of nervous I'm going to get charged for it. The wallpaper took off a little bit of paint here and then where this part of my bed was, it took off a lot of, um, I'll show you. Okay, got to move this again. Do you see how it kind of like took off like the top layer right there? It's kind of when I was doing this I was like, oh, maybe my bed will just cover it and they won't know that happened So I'm going to get some paint and then paint over all the little I don't know if I, I don't know if I can paint over this though You know, but that looks really bad all in all considering that this entire wall as a whole It did a really good job not taking off the paint except for areas like the bed was pressing up against it And then I had like the flowers and stuff It also did not take as much time as I thought it was going to so that great time to clean all this up <music> Probably really loud right here because the air conditioning I apologize but a while ago I was putting up these and I wanted to make sure they were spaced out so I put a pencil line on the wall just like make sure that they were spaced out and one pencil line erased kind of but the other two aren't and I don't know what that is about of hair is really ugly. I look like an egg, but it's totally fine. So I'm currently packing up stuff as you guys saw the time lapses. It's the next day. So I did this and then I packed up clothes because I do have this dresser right here for my Kia. And I got this dresser because my theory was if I didn't get a dresser, I'd probably get like plastic bins to put my clothes in. By the end of the year, I would just throw those bins out or like sell them or something and then end up having to buy a dresser for my apartment or something. So I was like, why not just get a dresser? So that's what I have. And I thought that it'd be smarter to take the clothes out of it. So it'll be number one, lighter number two when I bring it back on the way home there isn't the risk of like the drawers like flying open and stuff falling out or something like that pretty much all my clothes actually fit in here and then I do have clothes this stuff right here that I will put trash bags around when I get home they'll all like still be kind of like on the hanger so I can just put the hanger up and then just like have it be done but I'm not planning on doing that for a while I did lay some clothes as you guys can see I have like a hot glue gun in here I don't really know why but as you can see like I did leave some stuff for me to wear to go to the gym and stuff 
stuff, sleep in. I also consolidated all my shoes except for that pair into this because I had some in there and then I had some in here. And whatever shoes were in here, I completely forgot that I had them the entire time I lived here. They all fit in there except for those. I need to throw that away because that's broken. This is the dress that I'm wearing to formal tomorrow, which is in the vlog. I think that was before this one. So if you guys want to see my sorority formal, me in that dress. Also, probably my Instagram will have a picture on there. Saturday and still a little short for me this tripod. Anyways, today's Saturday, like I said, and I'm packing up stuff. I'm going on Friday, so I have a little bit less than a week, and I'm kind of panicking a little bit because there's a lot of stuff that I use on a daily basis, and there's a lot of stuff that I don't, so I packed up, as you guys saw, like my makeup, my school supplies, my hair stuff, throw pillows, things like that, but then I have things like dishes, and I have things like cleaning supplies, so I'm going to need to clean the room once everything moved out so it looks brand new. I know that I don't need all of my like dishes and stuff because I'm only going to be here for a week, but does it make sense to pack all of them except for a few and then have to pack them like i just don't really know exactly what i want to do thought i had a lot more stuff than i actually did all of these drawers are empty this drawer is empty and then these two this one has like dishes and stuff this one has cleaning supplies do i pack those in boxes or do i just like carry them out and then i also need to take like my extension cords and stuff but stuff's plugged in like what if i need to use my microwave <laughs> Hello, it is currently Monday right now. Finals week, I move out this Friday, so I have like five days to move out. So I'm finishing packing up. I actually, as you guys can see in the background, I moved the beds back to where they normally should be. I was gonna like vlog it, but then it was like 1 a.m. and I just had like this burst of motivation to be like fit and healthy and like have a new lifestyle. And then I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna do all this stuff and move all this stuff and be super productive. Anyone else like that? Just me, like at 1 a.m. You're like, I'm gonna be the most productive human being ever. I'm gonna blah, blah. But I moved the beds, ta-da. <laughs> and then I moved the dresser in my like entryway. And then that's where I had all my makeup right there. That's my shoe thingy, more bins. So yeah, my dorm is like actually huge. Like I keep forgetting how big this thing is. It's getting so empty, it's so weird. next day. I keep wearing the same clothes because all my clothes are packed. Hmm. We actually decided to move the day that I'm moving out to Wednesday night. It's just going to be easier because it's not as stressful. There are some things that I'm like don't know I'm gonna do that. I actually, you know, I should have vlogged it, but I didn't because it's like bras and underwear. That drawer was full of like bras, underwear, socks, spanks, all that stuff. And when I was going through this stuff, I didn't take them out because I just was like, what if I need underwear? So then literally it all filled up in here. Like it's a lot of stuff. I have a lot of fuzzy socks. I have all these hangers for my winter clothes, but I brought my winter clothes back because I was like, I know I'm gonna be moving out, blah, blah, blah. So I have all these hangers and I put inside the hangers these headphones and then I have like headphones and like my camera cases and things like that inside there. My my friends actually got the pink color to match the yellow wall perfectly. So I'm gonna have a friend come over in a minute and we're gonna paint over all of this and then all of that. My biggest fear was just like painting and having it look horrible and like ruining for the person that's going to live here next year. The pink color is actually like perfect so it won't ruin anything for the person next year, which I'm really excited about. Also, I didn't know that you should thaw out your fridge before you move it because if it's cold and like water will get everywhere. I didn't know that because I'm stupid. I move out and couple hours i'm going to be moving out in probably like four hours why do i why did i go like that that was weird i'm having the fridge open because i'm hoping that like the water and everything will like melt and it'll thaw out as soon as possible someone told me that it like leaks onto the ground the ground's not wet this is just such a side note and like i ate a lot of this but my management sent me cookies as like good luck on your final gift and i know this has like nothing to do with me moving out that genuinely made my day because i was having such a bad day you guys are the best thank you katie and everyone and i love you sorry side note my friend tried to cover up all of these little tack marks that I didn't even do. The paint color is apparently darker, so it looks horrible. I was kind of scared of this, so I only covered the top half, and as you can see, it's like a little bit of a color difference, but like, 
this looks horrible. Like, I think I'm gonna get fined for sure for this now. Like, 110% I think it's worse than what it would have been. Today is move out day, which is really exciting. So I was planning on doing a time lapse of me actually moving my stuff to the car, but then that like drastically failed. Like, it was horrible. So that didn't happen. But last night, I just cleaned down some things. I like wiped down the desk and everything. I was gonna time lapse it, but it was the middle of the night, so you couldn't really see it. And it's like me Cloroxing a desk, like quality content, like probably not. So I had everything in here, if you guys remember, and everything is gone. I need to take out my trash. My to-do list for today is to like collect the trash, vacuum the floors, and then bring everything that I need to in my car. I thought it would be fun to show you guys my haul for my dorm, because I know a lot of you guys aren't in college or some of you guys are going to ASU. Just so you can be like, oh wow, this is what college looks like. I don't know. Also, MEMS. That's kind of what I want to do, of course. Is anyone out here? Hope not. This is my room. Still to this day, I don't know what my room number is. This is my name. This is the roommate I was supposed to have. She never came. That's my room number. Still don't know my room number. The end of the hallway, and then this is the beginning of the hallway. I've only walked down there one time. So this is my Ariel's room, who is like resident engagement leader. So he like plans events for us. This is the poster for my old CA. And then this is my new CA's room. My CA found these posters in the trash. These are people's rooms. I don't really understand why he did the birthday thing, but he did. This right here is the prettiest view you will ever see and i'm so jealous that this side is like not my side so like there down there is our like kitchen like living room a couple floors down there's like a patio this is just so pretty like you can see a mountain which there's a little a on there that's one of my favorite buildings to study in manzi which is for like liberal arts and like biology major dorms that's our field it's just really pretty you can also see like planes taking off and everything like right here every once in a while this is just the prettiest view ever and i'm always so jealous of everyone that gets to live on this side because it's just so pretty and on the opposite side so here's this and on the opposite side of it this is our laundry that machine is always broken and then here's our study room which i don't feel like opening the door because it's locked but there's just like a table and a whiteboard and for the longest time there's only one chair in there i put the paint in there just in case anyone needed it people stole the chair so now they're back and then going back out some more rooms this is our elevator door this room is really cold. There's the two elevators. That's the good elevator. That's the bad elevator. This one, some of the buttons are broken. Wait, maybe it's the other way around. I'm trying to think. Anyways, the elevators are normally always broken. So here are the stairs. And we're on the seventh floor. So, and that's my hallway. Oh, this is just so pretty. I'll miss you. Excuse me while I cry. Look how sad this is. I remember just like yesterday when I moved in. Wow. Getting emotional. Also, I'm very sad. Like this will be like the last time I see this view too. Okay, you guys. So it's about seven-ish o'clock. I have my meeting with my CA to like inspect the room to see if there was any damages or anything and then I'm done. I'm out and then I can never come back. I'm so sad. Here's the room, all empty. It's like echoing in here, literally, besides like my bag. But it literally looks like what it looked like when I moved in. It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> I'm getting kind of like sappy and emotional, but like I've had I've had some really amazing, wonderful times in here and I've also had some really sad, hard times. So I'm kind of emotional to leave here. On this sad note, I am going to end the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already because I'm really excited for back to school season coming up. I'm moving into my sorority house. It's going to be great. So subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.